The following segment is sponsored by Northern Nevada Health System. We're here at the Northern Nevada Health System with the registered nurse, Drew Ryan, talking about the emergency room and slips and falls. You know, you think of this time of year, fall is coming, it's here, we're going to the winter months later. There are perhaps more slips and falls, I'm thinking? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, especially here where we live, we're getting a lot of snow. So people are outside, you know, they're raking leaves because all the leaves are falling off the trees, you know, come this time. And now snow's coming down, so we're shoveling our driveways and everything else. Um, um, it can be, you know, several different things, really. But, yeah, I mean, definitely any of those. I mean, even just slipping while hiking, you know, and that can happen, you know, whenever. But, yeah, definitely, especially when the weather's a lot more nicer. Uh, we have a lot of people that, you know, we're coming out. I mean, I want to get out and do some hiking when it's good weather, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. And I was thinking maybe in the summertime, there's slips by the pool. But that's such a short season. We have a longer season of fall and winter. So we do. The predominance is probably higher. In we the do. Months. It's it's much more. Yeah, much more higher. That's for sure. Yeah. When should someone seek emergency care if they've fallen or a loved one they've seen has slipped and fallen? Uh, so if you've you know slipped and fallen and you know you're having a hard time even just getting up and standing up, if you're having a hard time breathing, I mean, really, it's it really is you know person to person, but if they think that their symptoms warrant an ER visit, then you know you should go to the closest facility, whether that's an urgent care, a freestanding emergency, or our full-fledged ER. Hmm. Is there anything preventative we can drew, do, Drew, with when it comes to slips and falls? What measures can we take? Uh, I mean, other than, you know, maybe being a little bit more cognizant of, you know, your surroundings during these winter months, you know, when we know, you know, it's going to snow outside or we know it's snowing at night when we're getting out of our car and we're walking to our car, maybe walking a little slower, you know, just taking things slow. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of us, you know, we just, we like to rush and get through things, you know, everything really quickly and I think just slowing down would be a huge help. I did that once. We had a big snowstorm. I rushed, just put on my tennis shoes to uh -huh. do a shovel. I slipped. First yep. thing I did is like, oh, got to take my time, go put the snow boots on and do it right. Exactly. Yeah. So if you're putting on the proper equipment, you know, for, you know, you're putting on your snow boots to actually, you know, walk in the environment, that would be, you know, great. Yeah. All right, Drew. Thanks so much. Yeah, and you're welcome. More, thank you. Thank you. And for more on all of this, go to our website.